Hello everyone, you're with Chris at HD Piano. Welcome to Right Now by Van Halen. This is our tribute lesson to Eddie Van Halen. May he rest in peace. Let's dive in and learn this introduction with a legendary piano part. 3 E and a 4 E and a 1. Here's our main riff. So that probably seems like a lot of material, but this song is actually a little easier than it looks. This intro sounds like a ton of notes, but it's the same notes the whole time. Let's familiarize ourselves with these. D, F, G, A, C. Now, they happen in this order. D, G, D, F, A, D. Expand the F and A out to G and C. Jump down to D, A, D. Top. So just slowly moving up the white notes. D, A, D. Back down to D, A, C, G. So that one more time. Then, this is our first downbeat in the song. That's on beat one, this A. And that is the only difference in the pattern. We're, from there, we're gonna play the exact same notes. All right, here it comes again. That's A on beat one. Now, this pattern is just continuous 16th notes. You would count this like this. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... Notice that I'm accenting certain notes. Here are the ones I'm accenting. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a... That's how they play it on the original recording. So just remember that to start, you actually start on the uh, second sixteenth of beat one. D, G, D, one E and a. And then we add in the A on beat one. There it's the same the rest of the intro. Pattern never changes. Always with that same octave fit. Here come these octaves. So let's break these down. These are B flat. D, the left. Now remember that second sixteenth of beat one I was telling you about? The left hand is going to come in on there as well. One E and a. Same thing with the D. One E and a. This D in the right hand always lands up with these left hand octaves. Now we hold it out for one more measure. One, two, three, four. And there it is again. Second sixteenth beat one. Back down to B flat. Back to D. More B flat. 
just add an F in your second finger. Move that up a whole step. C is still on the second sixteenth of beat one. Notice this is the same shape. This is what you call a power chord. The octave with a fifth in the middle. Flat and F, C and G. For E and uh, on the and of four, we have one more C octave. The uh, left hand is always on these octaves, and the right hand never changes throughout this intro. Now, those are the two main components of this intro, and the riff is just taking these notes that we've learned uh, from the intro and turning them into chords, more or less. We're still working with the same group of notes from the D minor scale. Let's go through those real quick. D, E, F, G, A, B flat, C, D. Pretty much every single note we need to play the song comes from this scale, so watch out for that. Check out Key Signature Essentials at hdpiano.com for more on the theory behind this song and so many others. So I'm talking about D minor, we're in the key of D minor, and we're starting with a D minor triad. D, F, and A. One E and a, two E and a. Now remember this rhythm, this is gonna keep happening throughout this riff. Moving the third, F up to G. Now it's the fourth. This is what you call a sus triad. Now the riff continues with more D minor, but now we're splitting it up into two parts, D, F, and A. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a. Play it together on beat four. Now move it to E by itself. Now, check out this shape. We moved F into E. Now we're going to play those notes together on the downbeat of the next measure. One. And there you have a C major triad on the same rhythm as the D minor. One E and a, the and of one. Okay? This becomes a sus chord, moving the third up to the fourth, just like we did on the D minor. So it's the same type of pattern. One E and a, two E and a. And that is just splitting the C major triad up into different parts. C and G together, and then play all three. That leads you to D by itself. And then this is a C sus2, moving the third of C major down to the second. C, G, and D in the middle. This is the same sort of idea, still on the and of one to start. One and a, two, E, and a. These are the same syncopations on beat two, adding in the E. One E and a, two E and a, three. That, on the and of three, is gonna expand out to F. That's B flat major. Arpeggiate that down on beat four. This is cool, you leave the top two notes where they are. And now you have a D minor triad with A on the bottom. A, D, F, and that's in second version. So we started up here with D minor, and now we have D minor second inversion. Now remember that term, second inversion. This is going to be a great song to work on our second inversion triads. Check this part out right here. That is F major second inversion, G major second inversion, second inversion B flat major, C major. C, F, and A to start. Move up a whole step. D, G, B. Always with octaves on the roots in the left. F, B flat, D. Up a whole step. To G, C, and E. All major triads in second inversion. Okay? This is an important one to learn because this riff is going to keep showing up throughout the song. This is the riff, nice and slow. Four E and a, one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Those triads are all syncopated, all on the sixteenths. 
One and a two E and a three E and a four E. The last D octave is also syncopated, bringing us back into the same right hand pattern, D minor. And that is just a slight variation. So now we're just splitting up C major, C, E, G, and this comes right on beat four with all three notes. Four, E, and a, D, C, D, and G on the last 16th of four. Four, E, and a, this is the same on B flat, expanding out, D minor, to C major. This time we're gonna arpeggiate the C major up before we play these triads again. Okay, let's backtrack a little bit. So the second time through the riff, this is the same, just a slight rhythmic variation, same notes right there. Stepping down B flat, now here's the triads, this D is going to land right on beat one, let's keep going with the chords. Okay, so now we're just playing a simplified rhythmically version of this main riff so that we can focus on the guitar part that we've translated into our left hand. Okay, D, E, F on beat three to start. Three, E, and a four, and two. Same rhythm, now C, D, E. Okay, moving down to B flat. B flat, C, D, these are all octaves, right? Four, E, and a, and that's D, C, still on that last 16th of beat four, and the second 16th of beat one, right? Those are the two syncopations we've been seeing this entire first section. There it is, with the right, this is the same as before, D minor to C. So. With the right, we have this guitar part just coming in on beat three. And it lies nicely in the cracks between the syncopations and the right. Check it out. It's the same rhythmic pattern no matter which chords you're on. Except here. Thing. Repeating down. Except at the end here, this is cool. B flat, we have to C, second inversion the same way. But then down to A octaves, then G, then F. F major triad on beat four at the very end. And then you're right back into a D octave. That's going to be the start of verse one. But from the B flat chord the last time, D minor, C major, B flat, comes an A minor seven with A in the bass. Same right hand chord though. Lead that down to F major, strong octaves in the left. Okay, that is just the last time of this riff. So, that was a lot of info, I know, but let's go back to the beginning and play the intro up through what we just learned, and we'll play it under tempo, and I'll narrate as we go. Thanks for learning these first sections with me, and I'll see you over at hdpiano.com after this. One E and a two E and a one. Now you can always slow this down with the loop function on our website give yourself tendonitis playing these repetitive sixteenths. So slow it down. Remember, always on the second sixteenth of beat one. That's where the left hand octaves come in. Okay. 
Here's the riff. Second inversion. Here's the guitar part. resolution to F major at the end. This is a challenging song, but it's a lot of fun to play once you get it under your fingers. Obviously, I still need to practice it a little bit more to play it completely perfectly. So, thank you for learning these first few sections of Right Now with me, and I'll see you over at hdpiano.com for the remaining sections. All right, great job making it this far. If you're already at hdpiano.com, go ahead and click on the next video. And if you're not, head on over there to keep learning the rest of the song. In the meantime, stay in touch with us on social media, on YouTube, drop a comment, like, and subscribe. If you have song ideas, send them to requests.hdpiano.com. My name is Chris with HD Piano, and I'll see you around.